Remasters and next-gen ports sort of have a bad rep, especially with the transition from the PS3 and Xbox 360 generation to the current one. However, over the past several years, there have been a number of great remakes. Whether significantly enhancing visuals or rebuilding the game from the ground up, these remakes stand out as excellent experiences in their own right. Let's take a look at 15 of the best video game remakes of all time. Shadow of the Colossus Blue Point Games always had a stellar reputation for ports before this. However, Shadow of the Colossus veered straight into remake territory, featuring completely overhauled textures, an improved control scheme, and much more, bringing new life to this timeless classic. If you haven't experienced the magic of Shadow of the Colossus, now's a good time to start. Spyro Reignited Trilogy Say what you will about Activision, but its remake treatment for classic franchises like Spyro the Dragon is simply incredible. Spyro Reignited Trilogy contains Insomniac's first three games, lovingly touched up with high-resolution textures and new voice acting, redesigns, and whatnot. In terms of value, it's hard to beat. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Unless you splurge for the title that kickstarted Activision's remake craze. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy collects the first three titles developed by Naughty Dog and gives them a gorgeous new coat of paint. The trilogy is all the more incredible when you consider that Vicarious Visions had to rebuild the games using Naughty Dog's original geometry, as opposed to simply porting them over. Difficulty concerns aside, the gameplay of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy holds up incredibly well. Ratchet and Clank Considered as more of a reimagining than a remake or remaster, Ratchet and Clank for the PS4 is based on the first game in the franchise. Along with the gorgeous graphics, Insomniac Games added several familiar mechanics like strafing and automatic weapon upgrades. Don't worry though, all the collectibles and hoverboard races are here, and everything feels great to control. At this point, Ratchet and Clank is a staple for anyone purchasing a PS4, and a must-have game for platforming fans in general. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Activision's crusade of reviving old-school titles continues with Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Once again, the graphics look simply gorgeous, but the sheer extent of the remake is something to behold. Combining Crash Team Racing with all the content and courses from Crash Nitro Kart, with Adventure Mode, several new Grand Prix with new characters and tons to unlock, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled will keep you busy for a long time. Metal Gear Solid – The Twin Snakes before Silicon Knights took a downturn, it churned out one last great title. Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes was a remake of the first Metal Gear Solid. It introduced mechanics from Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty like first-person aiming, and even redid some of the voice acting on top of overhauling the visuals. Not only did Konami Japan help with development, but Metal Gear creator Hideo Kojima and Nintendo's own Shigeru Miyamoto helped guide Silicon Knights. So if you're wondering about all the Nintendo references that Psycho Mantis could potentially make, that's the reason. Oddworld, new and tasty. Though it may seem like just a visual remake of Abe's Odyssey, Oddworld New and Tasty is actually completely revamped. It introduces continuous scrolling as opposed to flipping screens, along with a new save system and gameplay elements. With more Mudicons, devious puzzles, and deaths to be had, Oddworld New and Tasty is certainly one of the more underrated remakes of our time. Halo 2 Anniversary Debuting in Halo The Master Chief Collection, Saber Interactive and 343 Industries went above and beyond with this remake. A re-recorded score, massively redone visuals, updated sound effects, and new cutscenes courtesy of Blur Studio made this feel like a full release. And thankfully, the numerous issues with the Master Chief Collection have been hammered out over time, allowing more players to enjoy this remake. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee 
Combining the gameplay of classic Pokemon with Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are actually remakes of Pokemon Yellow. That means Kanto is rendered in full 3D visuals with all kinds of vibrant colors. Several other changes have been made to how one captures Pokemon, mimicking the style of Pokemon Let's Go more closely. Despite not being a giant leap forward, the titles still offer over 151 Pokemon to collect, trainers and gym leaders to battle, and heaps of nostalgia. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Having recently released for the Nintendo Switch, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening stands out as a spellbinding affair. The visuals have been remade, but in a retro-modern style that's pretty cute while still looking incredibly sharp. Gameplay changes like being able to equip multiple items, create your own dungeons with preset room pieces, and numerous quality-of-life changes help enhance the Game Boy Classic for the better. It's a classic Zelda experience at the end of the day, and who could say no to that? Star Fox 64 3D among the many games to showcase the potential of the Nintendo 3DS was Star Fox 64 3D. Along with offering the original Nintendo 64 title in handheld form, this version also incorporated stereoscopic 3D and gyro controls in its 3DS mode while rebalancing the overall game. This is in addition to quality of life features like saving after each stage, improved sound quality, and a new score attack mode for replaying stages. Metroid – Samus Returns Mercury Steam and Metroid producer Yoshio Sakamoto sought to remake Metroid 2 for the Nintendo 3DS. However, Metroid Samus Returns is so much more, updating the visuals for the contemporary generation while improving the controls and adding several new mechanics. Samus can now melee to counterattack, which lends a whole new dimension to combat. You can even use abilities from future Metroid titles like the Grapple Beam and Super Missiles. Metroid Zero Mission of course, before Samus returned, Nintendo remade the very first Metroid as Metroid Zero Mission. Though short, the sprite-based graphics were a huge step up from the original. The remake also introduced new mini-bosses, items, areas, and even difficulty levels to the experience. If that wasn't enough, the story also offers more exposition on Samus and her past. Resident Evil Capcom was seemingly ahead of the remake curve when it remade Resident Evil for the Nintendo GameCube, before later bringing it to other consoles. Resident Evil's visuals were changed significantly, turning the original kitschy premise into a terrifying ordeal. Of course, it also offered new areas, an improved script, new mechanics, and even additional subplots to flesh out the story. The controls were kind of meh, but they were also subsequently improved with Resident Evil HD remastered. In short, it's never too late to experience this classic. Resident Evil 2 Last but far from the least is Resident Evil 2, which kickstarted 2019 and still remains a solid Game of the Year contender. Resident Evil 2 used the same engine as Resident Evil 7, but went with a third-person perspective instead. The game's survival horror loop was still incredibly strong, forcing you to conserve ammo and dodge zombies while also fleeing from the terrifying Mr. X. Leon and Claire have never looked this good, and it's good to see Capcom at the top of its game once again. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, please hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to switch on the notifications bell icon next to it. That way you'll never miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching.